In this presentation, we will take a look at an IRS newsletter related to tax security. So we'll read through the IRS newsletter related to tax security. IRS states and industry offer tips to tax professionals on spotting signs of client data theft. Washington, the Internal Revenue Service and its security summit uh, partners today urged tax professionals to learn the telltale signs that their office may have experienced a data theft that results in fraudulent tax returns being filed in their tax clients' names. The IRS state tax agency and the private sector tax industry working together as the security summit warned practitioners that global criminal uh, syndicates remain active and they are well-financed, high-skilled, tax-savvy in their attempts to gain sensitive tax data. The, re remainder came as the, the reminder came as the IRS and the summit partners encouraged tax professionals to take time this summer to review their data security protection to help the tax uh, community. The summit pr partners offered a new tax security together checklist as a starting point. Learning the signs of identity theft is critical for anyone handling uh, taxpayer data, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Rettig. Uh, it can be as subtle as an unusually slow computer system or as obvious as a multiple client unexpectedly receiving the same IRS letter. Paying attention to these details is critical and fast action alerting the IRS and calling in a security expert can help protect taxpayers and your business. Recognizing the signs of data theft is the, uh, is the fourth item on the Tax Security Together checklist. Previous checklist items include deploying the security six basic steps, creating a written data security plan, and editing and educating yourself on email uh, phishing scams, email phishing scams being uh, highly used. Although the Security Summit, a partnership between the IRS, states, and the private sector tax community started in 2015, is making major progress against tax-related identity theft, cyber criminals continuing to quickly uh, evolve, and data theft at tax professionals' offices remain a major attack point. Uh, thieves use stolen data from tax practitioners to create fraudulent returns that are, are harder for Summit partners to detect. Recognize the signs of client data theft. The IRS Summit per, uh, partners have created a list of warning signs that a tax professional or, or their office may have experienced a data theft. Client e-file returns uh, begin to be rejected by the IRS or state tax agencies because returns with their social security numbers were already filed. Clients who haven't uh, filed tax returns begin to receive taxpayer authentic authentication letters. This is going to be the number you can check out of the letter from the IRS to confirm their identity for the submitted tax return. Clients who haven't filed tax returns receive refunds. Clients receive tax transactions that they did not request. Uh, clients who created an IRS online services account receive an IRS notice that their account was accessed or IRS emails uh, stating their account has been disabled. Another variation, clients unexpectedly receive an IRS notice that an IRS online account was created in their names. The number of returns filed with the tax professional's electronic filing identification number, EFIN, exceeds the number of clients. The tax professional or clients responding to emails that the firm did not send. Uh, network computers running slower than normal. Computer uh, cursors moving or changing numbers without touching the keyboard. Uh, uh, network computers locking out employees. Tax professionals should be on the lookout for these scary scenarios that have hit firms across the country, jeopardizing data on the company and their clients, Riggett says. Uh, because IRS and the state tax system will only accept one unique social security number, taxpayers often discover they are a victim when they attempt to e-file and their tax return is rejected because the return with the social security number is already in the system. So in other words, obviously, if someone was to hack into the system of the actual software of a tax professional and basically use that software uh, virtually to file the tax return, then when would that be detected, if not sooner? when the second tax return was tried, was was filed and now that IRS would say, well, now there's two tax returns with the same social security number. And obviously at that point, uh, it should be known that there's a problem if not before. Or more commonly, the IRS identifies a return that could be an identity theft return and sends a letter to the taxpayer asking them to contact the agency to let the IRS know if they filed the return. 
So obviously if you send in a return and it's different in that one major thing could be different, where they want to send the refund or how they want to send the refund, you would think uh, would be one of the major components that might be different that might trigger the IRS to say, hey, wait a second, you know, maybe we'll maybe we'll look into this and see what uh, what changed here. Identify uh, identify thieves sometimes try to leverage the stolen data by using taxpayer information to access the IRS get transcript system. Taxpayer who received transcripts by mail uh, but did not order them or sometimes victims of this approach. Get transcripts online is is uh, protected by a robust two factor authentication process. But crooks may still try to use stolen identif identities to try to create get transcript accounts. In other words, a transcript. Notice the IRS is going to get a transcript of everything that we sent that we usually get. So usually we get a W two at the end of the year, and we get other information from the companies and people that are financial institutions that we might have business with. Those things are also sent to the IRS, so the IRS already knows basically a lot of the income that we have. It's possible to go to the IRS and get the information on their side with basically transcripts. If someone was able to get into the account and get an online transcript, then of course they may be able to file the return just given the, the online transcripts uh, and, and move forward with that. So, but crooks may still try to use stolen identif identif identities to try to create get transcript accounts, which result in the IRS disabling the account and sending the taxpayer a letter. During the tax filing season, tax professionals should make a weekly review of returns filed with the office's electronic filing number or uh, EFIN. A report is updated weekly. Tax preparers can access their e-file applications and select check EFIN status to see a count. If the number are uh, inflated, practitioners should contact the IRS for e-help desk. Tax professionals may also notice IRS acknowledgments for returns they did not e-file. Acknowledgments are sent soon after a return is transmitted. The tax professionals who fall victim to spear, uh, spear phishing email scams, a common way cyber criminals access com, uh, office computers, may suddenly see responses to emails that they never sent. If a practitioner mistakenly provides uh, username and password information to the thief, the thief often harvests the practitioner's contact list stealing names and email addresses of colleagues and clients and enabling the crooks to use the tax information to expand their their uh, spear phishing scheme uh, scam so in other words they're going to fish for information basically on the email once they get that information it could include contact information of other uh, individuals and the, and the more people that are involved in the group of emails that might be received the more effective that type of uh, phishing like kind of email strategy in order to gather information that could eventually be useful uh, the more effective that is always be alert to phishing scams even if the email appeared to come from a colleague or client if the language sounds a bit off or if the request seems unusual contact the sender by phone to verify rather than opening a link or attachment finally there are several signs that the office computer system may be under attack or may be under remote control such as the cursor moving with no one at the keyboard the IRS is aware of many uh, examples in which cyber criminals gain access to the practitioner's office computer. Uh, complete the pending Form 1040, change electronic deposit information to their accounts, and then e-file the returns, which is pretty incredible at this point in time. So we're saying that it, you know the software is on the computer in the office. The, the uh, return is basically done by the practitioner possibly in the office, and then virtually someone basically uh, takes the the control of the computer changes the uh, routing address or basically possibly the where the refund is going to go virtually without the practitioner in place and then uh e-files e-files completes the e-file return in that process that's pretty you know incredible and scary so we have the tax professionals who notice any signs of identity theft should contact their state's IRS uh, stakeholder liaison immediately. Uh, the process for reporting data theft to the IRS is outlined in the data theft information for tax professionals. So you can go to the data theft information, we'll put a link to that below for tax professionals. In some states, data theft must be reported to various authorities to help tax professionals find where to report data security uh, incidents at the state level the federation of tax administrators has created a special page with state-by-state -state listing additional information 
The Security Summit uh, reminds all professional uh, tax preparers to have a written data security plan as required by the Federal Trade Commission and its uh, safeguards rules. They can also get help with security recommendations by reviewing the IRS publication 4557, Safeguarding Taxpayer Data and Small Business Information Security, uh, The Fundamentals by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, Publication 5293, Data Security Resource Guide for Tax Professional provides a, comp a compilation of data theft information available on the irs.gov website. Also, tax pros should stay connected with the IRS through subscription to e-news for tax professionals and social media. Uh, the Taxes Security Together Checklist. During the Special Security Summit series, the checklist will highlight these key areas for tax professionals. Uh, deploy Security 6. Create data security plans. Educate yourself on phishing scams. Recognize the signs of data theft. Create a data theft recovery plan.